Hi everyone, um, I might do the weekly vlog in this kind of sort of um, setup where I just kind of do a recap at the end of the week. So today it's Sunday the 25th or 26th, I don't know, 26th, 26th of January and um, I'm just going to update a little bit about what happened this week um, and I'll start with the fact that I have a new job. And I have a job at a art and design place. Um, it, does, it sells art supplies and it does printing, large format printing, which is going to be really useful actually. Um, and I start there for two days next week on Wednesday and Friday. Uh, no, Wednesday and Thursday. My phone's vibrating. Okay. Um, things that I'm also planning next week are. I'm going to go check out a wedding venue down the road and um, with my mum and see whether we can um, book that, see if we can get a date sorted and how much it'll cost and everything because I know it, the reason I'm taking this job is because um, I need money for the wedding. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not a cheap thing to do. I did some more large format printing. Um, and I also printed my stickers for the first time. However, I'm having a problem with my printer at the moment, and you can see that there's an inch where it's not printing on A4 sheets for some reason. Um, and because I use KNK Zing, the registration marks for cutting it out didn't print on the bottom, so I I couldn't couldn't do anything with these. So these are kind of I have to go in the bin. I can't cut them. Uh, but I also experimented with printing multiple ones on a roll, which came out quite good. I didn't have any down here because of what, because of something I was working on. Um, but I have another problem, Canon. We are, I'm going to ring Canon tomorrow. And you can see the calcifer. It's got lines all over it, and also some of the edges. I don't know if you can see that. Some of the edges, I think Toto's ears are easier to see on. The edges aren't clean, they're fuzzy, but I, it was like this on the preview before I printed and I thought, you know, it's just a graphical thing because I was zoomed out and when it printed, it printed the same as on the computer, so I really don't know why, so I'm going to ring Canon about that and my other problem tomorrow, Let's see if we can get it sorted. That's another thing, this... Um, Half an, oh, this inch on the bottom also shows up on the driver itself before it prints. So I don't think it's the printer, I think it's something to do with the driver. Um, I also got some more products done for my printing business. I've got some samples done which I'm going to take photographs of. And then hopefully people can help me with the pricing. Um, I printed one of my A4 pictures onto a borderless print, which I was really, really excited and happy about. Yay! Um, as you can see, well, it's a little bit difficult because obviously there's no image that goes to the end, but this is all cream, and there's absolutely zero white along the sides. And uh, I was so excited when it came out. So I'm going to be selling borderless A2 posters. And borderless A1 posters. I'm not doing anything else borderless. Anything under that um, is going to be done uh, with a slight margin. So, um, what else did I receive this week? I also got um, a photography studio. It's called, and it's got like two lights. And actually, I'm using the tripod now that came with it. It's not really a tripod. It's a monopod with a stand. And um, it's also got like a little white box and some backdrops. It's, it's small, but it um, means I can take pictures of small items with a lot of white light around it so I can edit it really easily. Because the room that I'm going to be doing my photography in is very small and very dimly lit. So I needed something else. Um, now that I've got a sort of tabletop tripod as well, I'm going to be doing um, an FAQ video about how I do my stickers how I do my badges, how I do my artwork and 
there was something else. I can't remember. Oh, my art supplies. Um, things that I use in my traditional art. Um, and maybe I'll do a digital art one, I'm not really sure yet. So last week I had my friend Fiona, and she is book crazy, and I'll give you a link to her YouTube. And she blogs about books, and she gave me some books. And it's like, oh my god. I've already read one of them. So I got If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. The Almost Girl by Amelie Howard and Acid which I've read and finished and I love it so much it's so good by Emma Pass this is so good I haven't um, I've just started The Almost Girl and I haven't started this one yet so, woo I've got books to read I've still got the one that I got at Christmas as well which is quite thick called um, the end of Mr. Y, which is really cool as well. And then she's also lent me this, which is a proof copy of something called Banished. And I'm really excited. I've got loads of books to read. Um, a lot of people don't know that I do read a lot. I have a lot of books. I mean, there's my bookshelf, and that's only a small portion of my books. So, yeah. <laughs> And also I started some other pieces of work. I have this one, which is uh, all the grass type starters. Phoebe Snivy, Trico, which is really, Trico is really hard to draw. Bulbasaur, Chespin, Turtwig, Chikorita. And I've already started inking this one, which is uh, Johto starter type, um, all types. And I'm going to do shiny and non-shiny coloration. And I've also started a Caribbean you can't see. But uh, someone got my 130,000th page view and they won a free Copic drawing. And this is it. And uh, I'm going to ink it and colour it on video for her as well. And she'll get that sent to her absolutely free. The second friend I had today um, no, second friend I had came over today, and that's Amy Maycroft, or Mimo as some people call her online, and um, she came up from Birmingham, so it's quite distance, I think it's about two and a half hours, I think she's probably still on the train now, oh, it didn't, she didn't stay here long enough, I wish she could have stayed longer, but Sunday service means that like the trains are all limited, and she had to get a bus, but um, I met Amy last year at a convention and we did sort of matching cosplays like um, Rose God Tier and Jade God Tier and um, I was Jade and um, we had tables next to each other, art tables and it was just really cool and I've been wanting her to come and see my little cottage um, and she came up today and hopefully we can have a sleepover one day, that'd be really cool but uh, she bought a commission off me back at Christmas and she paid me with what pumpkin stuff and I'm just like oh my god homestuck t-shirts I mean you can already see I'm wearing my homemade <laughs> my homemade jade t-shirt because I wanted the Beck symbol and they only sell the atom symbol I like Beck better and oh my god jade and Beck so cute um those who don't know, Jade is my absolute favourite in Homestuck and then I think after that it's Kaka and Vriska, it's hard to choose between those two. But I am I, actually a um, massive, massive fan of Jade and I think most people know this by now, especially my Homestuck friends know me as the one that likes Jade. <laughs> she also bought me the calendar, oh my gosh, look at the art, look at Jade, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And on the back we've got the Alpha Kids and the Beta Kids and all the trolls and oh my god, there's Briska, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and it's just got some absolutely stunning art in it, like look at Dirk, he doesn't even approve of that. Um, I think my favourite one is either that one. I just think it's gorgeous. Or I, I like October, of course, because October is my birthday. It's got a jade. Um, 
me see. This one. Really, 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 really like this one. It's so cute. I like this one here. All the meaties. They're so cute. Um, but yeah, it's just absolutely stunning. And I recommend you go buy it and support all the artists and their beautiful artwork. Um, was, oh, I got a new fan cover. Ta da! <laughs> Said it was leather on eBay. It's not leather. What else did I get? I renewed my PlayStation Plus. So if you want to add me on um, PlayStation Plus, my. Um, it called a PSN. PSN is ditto hyphen nine. So add me. Um, what else did I do this week? I don't know. I really don't think I did anything else this week. It's pretty boring actually. Apart from having friends over. Just the absolute highlight. And uh, getting a job I guess was pretty crazy. But uh, I just wasn't ex accepting, uh, expecting it at all. And uh, Ryan's also been for an interview for a second job as well, so he'll have another job. I'll be working both full time at this place, and then when I get home, I'll be spending another four hours on my business, and then probably an hour on Jelly Bee. So I'll be working a lot. So technically, I have three jobs one freelance artwork to my printing business, three printing shop, so <laughs> it's going to be quite full on for the next few months but I need to pay for this wedding. Weddings are not cheap, don't get married unless you have lots of money. That's everything, so I'm going to go and colour this um, Caribbean picture, I'm going to ink it and I'll hopefully um, film me colouring it because the inking process is going to take me too long I think for me to film it. But. Yes, um, so that's this week's vlog, and thank you for watching, and please subscribe. Yeah, Amy brought around um, these Crayola sweets. They're called Colour Your Mouth Taffy. I don't even know what a taffy is, I'm very sorry. But it's kind of like a chewy sweet, it's almost like a chew it. Uh, and I have a blue tongue, hang on, my screen's gone off. <laughs> So I've got a blue tongue. Thanks, Amy. Troll mouths, yeah.